Hi guys, welcome to Sunday Fun Day with Miss Andrea. Um, today we're making our little feathered friends. So I got this off Pinterest. Let me show you a picture of what we are trying to make. So this is all yarn. And instead of cardboard, I'm going to give you guys some foam board. And we'll make the wings out of paper and the beak. And then the eye, when you have extra foam board, we're going to make the eye out of the foam board. And um, so if you have hot glue or regular glue, you could use it for this. But this is mostly about wrapping the string. And when you start, what I did was I took the template. It's on the Pinterest page. So I'm going to put that in the description. And I just copied it. It was super simple. A little slope, bigger, and then, it, you know, around the tail, and then a triangle. And then this was very easy to draw. I just drew like that. I tried to get the drawing done first so I can give you guys a good, a good one. Because as you can see, you know, I did it on paper first, not the foam board first. Because see, I made mistakes. So you do it in pencil, you erase, and you keep going. That's all. So, but now we have a template. So let's cut out our template, and then we'll, we'll stencil the outside of it on our foam board. So make sure you have a pencil, and like I said, glue. You can use hot glue since it's foam, or you could use just regular glue. You could also make the eye out of just regular construction paper if you're more comfortable with that. That's fine. Here we go. I hope you guys had a great summer. It's almost over, right? I'm kind of glad because I'm not um, great with heat. I love the fall. So I'm kind of glad it's coming up. Plus, in the fall, I get to see you guys more often because you come by after school. And now that we're open, without appointments, and hopefully it'll stay that way. Um, I'll get to see you more often, hopefully. And we're going to do, again, as long as everything stays okay, um, our Friday night in again. A little different. It's 3.30 to 6.30 on Fridays. And it's one program a week. And no pizza, but snacks are provided. Alright. Hey, That'll be a lot of fun. I miss seeing you guys. Okay, so just be careful around the tail area. There you go. We have our template. Alright. And then on the extra paper, you just Draw your triangle. And we have your beak. Okay. We'll cut that out in a little bit. There you go. So that's scrap if you want to use the scrap paper for any other projects you do. So I would give yourself a little room to make mistakes. You know, it is a big piece of foam. You could make the bird bigger if you want. Um, this to me is just what fit best in my mind's eye from what I saw in Pinterest. All right, just stencil it. You know, again, if you mess up on the foam board, probably going to be harder to erase and that's why starting on paper is the better idea. See I made a little mistake there but we're cutting this out anyway. But if you do too much it might be an issue. Here we go.
I hope that came out okay. Let's see. Pretty good. Right? A little mishaps. But that's okay. Because if it doesn't look nice on this side, this could be your front. Plus, we're wrapping it in yarn, remember. So, when we do it on here, if you remember, if you did our cloud yarn project, you did like little slits, remember? And you wrapped the yarn through the slits. So, you'll see as I go along. So, we'll cut this little guy out. Alright, so once you have your bird all cut out, which he looks like a little whale right now, huh? You start cutting little like inches, inch deep notches, right? And like an inch apart if even. So just try to keep it, you know, spaced out even. This is where your yarn is going to attach to. See, I'm not even, I'm not going all the way through, just like the little edge of the scissor. Like that, see? All right, little tiny sideways one for the tail so you don't cut it off. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it locks in. What you can do is, for this end piece, you know, wrap it around and tie it up. So now you have like an like an anchor, right? Alright. Just that. And then you start using your little edges here. Now you can wrap it here too without the edges. This'll just make it um it gives it something to grab onto and stay on. But you don't want like a bunch of blank spots either. Right? And you don't want it to have to slide too much. If you know what I mean. Like if it's all just one thing, it could just slide right off. Right? But here it's holding on in a separate spot. And now we have another, we should have another little hook here. If you forget a spot, try not to cut the string, but just add one. Or if you feel like you need another one, just add one as you go along. With, just try not to, yeah, cut the string as you go, that's all. Alright, so I've done a lot of it. Once you get to the face, it's a little tricky. So just, um, you know, try to cover as much ground as you can, but without making it to look too busy. See, we can even do like this, because you're going to put the eye and you're going to put the wing. So it's fine for it to be a little asymmetrical, right? And just also... As you go, try to keep your string as straight as possible. And see, you could put like here. Wrapping it back around to cover your spots will make it um, tighter and stay on better. All right. Okay. I don't want to overwhelm the tail though. So I think I'm going to cut my string. Here. Now cut a little extra so you could tie it. And then if you got all the way to here and you looked up and you're like, that's kind of empty for me. Um, if you have string left over, 
start again, right? Doesn't all have to be one continuous thing. I might actually do that because this looks a little looks a little empty. Okay, so now what we'll do is we're gonna heat up our hot glue and prepare the eye, right? Because like this, we'll cut this out right now. There you go. And you can color this in however you want. If you want to make a little design on it, it's your bird. You do, you do you, right? Yeah. Let's cut out the beak together. And don't worry about the pencil marks. Because all you have to do is flip it over and you don't see them anymore. Right? Alright, so now for the eye. That. So I'm just going to draw a circle. And all I have is just a black marker. You can use a black marker, a pen if you have one, even like a dark green, which is just going to be for the pupil. So just draw a circle the best you can, or maybe use a bottle cap. The pencil's going through the foam. <laughs> That's it, right. And again, this is, you know, the back side. Keep a garbage can by, you know, on hand. This has a lot of garbage. Okay, and then we'll just draw the pupil. Mm -hmm. How would you draw the pupil? So what they've done for their bird is just draw it completely black in the middle, leaving white around the edges. So that's what I'm gonna do, okay? If you want to do it a little different, give him a little color to his eyes, you can do that. I'm going to keep it simple. Sorry, my hands are in the way here. I think that's pretty good. Let's close our marker up. There we go. Not the best, not the worst. Good enough for me. <laughs> All right, guys. So now I'm gonna glue the stuff on. Now the tail was kind of thin, so a little piece fell off. Just glue it back on if you want. Um, or when you, you know, if you get if you're watching this all the way through just to make it um, a little thicker. So let's put some glue on the back of the eye so we can control where it goes. I'm covering up one of my knots. Okay. I'm gonna put it on the back of the wing too. Now for the beak, it's so small, I don't want you guys burning your fingers or just getting regular glue all over your fingers. So that will put on the actual bird. Right. Next, we can put all throughout. Carefully flip it over. Make sure you leave a spot like at the ends. You can even feel how hot it is since it's such thin paper, but that's all right. It's like warming your hands by the fire in winter okay and again since this is so small we're gonna pick where we want to put the beak and then we're gonna put the glue there and just be careful placing it on you could hold the beak from that end and then just dab it on top all right safety first guys all right there you go 
thing came out super cute. Um, you all get all sorts of different colors. So if you want to send me a picture at Andrea at westhamptonlibrary.org, I would love to see the pictures. And have a great night, guys.